At the risk of sounding like a bitter old, fragile geriatric, I need to vent about something. I saw a short video today that just triggered an insatiable appetite within me to rant. And I've said this on stream before, and every time I have, people have been upset with this opinion, but I'm going to share it anyway. I hate water parks. I think water parks are hell on earth. And I don't hate them for the reason you're probably anticipating, which is germs with all the pee, puke, and shit in there from all the kids that go to water parks. I've always hated them because of the slides. Now, I'm not referring to the slides that you go down on an inner tube. I'm talking about the ones where you, like, cross your arms, like, full coffin style and go down on your back. That shit has always been extremely painful. It's how I imagine it feels to be trampled during a stampede. There is just barely enough water on those slides to prevent your skin from peeling off on the way down. But even then, it's not enough to make it comfortable, so by the end of it, I always felt like I've been degloved and I'm gonna stand up and just blood's gonna fall out and my organs are gonna pop out my ass. It is so awful. All the twists and turns are so violent because you're going at like damn near terminal velocity. So you're fucking blasting back and forth against the slide. But even when you're not pinballing around on these outrageous twists, turns, corkscrews, and loops, it is still just so painful because it's not one continuous piece of plastic, obviously, it's divided up, and you feel each and every goddamn bump. So, like, when it's a little uneven, you'll be going through and you'll just hit, like, a, a fucking pothole and you're, you're popping your L4 vertebrae out of alignment. I hate it. I have always hated water parks, even when I was younger. Like, even before I got, like, old as shit, like, you know, even before I became a fossil, I didn't like water parks because they just hurt. You know, it feels like I get beat up by the football team when I finish a water, a water slide. I've just never completed one of the slides and felt like I had fun. I felt like I went to war and was just pushed over the side of a hilltop and on the way down hit like five layers of barbed wire, broken glass, and rocks. It just, I hate it. I've always hated it. And I honestly feel like the people that make these water slides try and come up with just enough safety to keep most people from dying, but still leave enough wiggle room so they can still have some fatalities on there. One of the biggest cases that I recall was a 10-year-old boy got decapitated on a water slide at Schlitterbahn. The water slide was called Verrucht, and he got decapitated halfway through the water slide. A lot of fishy shit went on with the construction of that water slide. Verrucht has a very peculiar history. What was responsible ultimately for the decapitation of that boy was the raft that he was on for that slide. Uh, went airborne and he hit his neck on the safety cage that was built like over it and it decapitated him. It's absolutely a fucking horrifying thing to read about. And of course it's not the only case of someone dying on a water slide but that's the most well-known one. Most of the time though it's just a lot of injuries. It, I've never liked it. And today I watched a short video that Jackson sent me where some kids went down, I think it's a potato sack slide somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I, I couldn't find any information about where this is, but this slide is absolutely one of the most dangerous things I think I've seen at an amusement park. Again, I have no information on where this ride is or what park it's at, but I think it's safe to say this is like an official place. Like it's, it's a business, not just someone's backyard, because I don't think anyone's gonna be able to build this in their backyard. I think anyone can see why this is an absolutely awful design. It looks like it was actually created by a villain to kill as many kids as possible or just injure as many people as possible before it gets shut down. Like it's trying to complete the any percent speed run record for most injuries associated with a slide. It has all of the worst ideas incorporated into one. So it's obviously very high speed. This is a pretty fast slide and it's not a water slide. This is like, I think a sack slide. So I think they're in like a little potato sack or something and they slide down a giant metal slide. Well, first of all, the fact that it's a metal slide in what is clearly a very sunny area is already a horrible idea because when it gets super hot, that slide's gonna fucking cook the kids. It's gonna just start burning them as they're going through it. They're gonna be praying for the time that they finally can get off, and then they're still gonna have to be, you know, grabbing little skin pieces from the slide on their way out. They're gonna need like a fucking skin graft by the time they finish this thing once it gets into the summertime. But even putting that aside, you can see it's built with a cage around it, which for a lot of people would say like that's probably a good idea to keep people from like flying off for going too fast. Like that's the whole idea of it. Except their cage is porous. It's giant openings in their cage. So it's like these metal bars. It looks like prison bars and it doesn't look like they're even rounded off or anything. So it's just these like kind of sharp looking metal bars, this cage around the slide. And you can see the kids bouncing into those, those bars and shit. 
that's just that's just an accident waiting to happen. That's a recipe for disaster. You know, their arm kind of flies out to the side where they're going through. It's just going to snap their arm. Same with their legs. Same with their neck, their head. Like, all of it is at risk for just being blasted here. It's like an actual cheese grater on this slide. It's the exact opposite of a safety cage. Like, it's not like a roll cage or anything. This thing is like an actual death contraption. And the GoPro they were using here obviously got caught in that cage and just thrown off to the side. Uh, the kids were hitting their heads and shit on it, and luckily their their head didn't like pop through and just get you know severed or something. But this absolutely looks like it's just mini deaths waiting to happen. But maybe that's the point. Maybe this is one of those suicide slides. I'm sure all of you have seen that video by now where someone designed a suicide roller coaster where it's like a series of seven loops that get tighter and tighter so it eventually kills you by the end of it. That's kind of what this slide seems to be like emulating. Just a way of committing suicide in an elaborate way. Like it just gives you one last ride. It's fucking baffling to me. Like, if a, if a parent saw this for even a single second, I don't think there's any way they'd let their kid go on that unless they really hate their kid. I'm sure you also noticed in the video, the cage doesn't go across the entire slide. There's still those openings, like the open air openings with like the platform there for the staff to get to, which is exactly one of the things that was responsible for the decapitation on Verrucht. They have the metal cage that goes over the thing, but there's gaps in between it, obviously. So in those openings, like on this ride, there's a very real possibility someone going really fast hits it, catches some air, and then also hits their neck and head on that cage start, which is what killed the boy on Verrucht. So they have literally the same fucking problem as Verrucht did. And I just think that this is a, a disaster waiting to happen if it hasn't already. Again, I couldn't find anything on this slide, and I looked everywhere. This was posted on like 12 different subreddits, and I checked every single comment on every single post about it, and nobody had any clue where this was. So maybe this really is like a homemade contraption. I, I have no idea, but it doesn't seem likely considering the like scale of it. It seems huge, and it also seems like a lot of property that they have here, so... I would be very surprised. Plus, there was also some other people on the beginning of the platform that looked like staff members. And I don't think uh, parents that built this in their backyard as like a, a fun project would hire full-time employees to man it for them. So I'm imagining it's like an amusement park somewhere, but no idea where. But this shit, yeah, I mark my words, if it continues to stay open, I'm sure this won't be the last time we see it. It'll probably be in the news again within the next couple years with some tragedy that occurred at it. A very predictable and avoidable one at that. So yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about how much I dislike water park slides, and I guess slides in general. Maybe I just fucking hate slides. Because this one's not a water park slide, and it's still just as dangerous, and I hate it just as much. So yeah, I just wanted to vent about it a little bit, because why not? This video just really brought the demon out of me, and I needed to rant. Uh, anyway, that's about it. See ya.